everyone, welcome to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. Please take a second to subscribe and like the channel. It's much appreciated. If you aren't, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at two phrases by Pat Martino. The link for the free PDF is in the description of the video below, and it'll consistently follow that same format of giving you a phrase in the original key, and then a new key with an alternate fingering so you can practice them in all 12 keys. This along with using a metronome will put you on a path to achieve some facility with the phrases. Now the reason why I chose these two phrases is because how many times have you been the first soloist in a tune? And the band is going to give you some space by giving you a solo break. And you go to play and it's just less than what you expected. I know if you're like me, I, that happens all the time. It doesn't stop me from doing it, but it happens a lot. And then likewise, let's say you're coming to the end of the song and it's your responsibility to end the song. And you can't think of a way to end it. You sort of become distracted and, and not staying in the moment. Well, the second phrase hopefully is going to give you some ideas on maybe what you could do to end some tunes. So let's check out the first phrase. Phrase one is a 2-5 idea that Pat uses over the days of Wine and Roses. One little cool harmonic note in the structure is that Pat's changed the last two measures to B flat minor seven and E flat dominant seven. I sort of think of this as like a backdoor 2-5. It's a 2-5 built on the fourth degree of the key and then he resolves it at the top of the form to F major. Now the line that he's using to play over these chord changes is pretty diatonic, although he does have a chromatic approach in the B flat in measure one. And he's got a cool inverted double chromatic approach B to C in beat four. And then the next measure, he's got an E natural over that dominant chord that's acting as a flat nine. So I'm gonna turn my metronome on and I'm gonna play this phrase to the click. And it sounds like this. <laughs> Here it is in a new key with a different fingering. Okay, let's move on to phrase two. This is a condensa from his recording of impressions. And I want you to listen to the way Pat phrases. I hear two measures of 5-4 and then back to 4-4 four, four to the end. And remember, if you're the only one playing at the end of a tune, you have some latitude to play whatever you feel as long as it's got a nice groove and in time. So let's check that out. Doesn't get any more guitar than that, does it? Pentatonic minor, that's probably the first scale that everybody learns on guitar. I'm sure if you were to dissect that phrase, I bet you can discern a pattern in there and you could apply it to every scale degree of the pentatonic minor scale. That might be one way to develop this idea. So I'm going to turn on my metronome and here's that phrase with the click. Here's phrase two in a new key. Well, that's all for today. I hope this helps you develop some of your own ideas for solo breaks and endings. Please like and subscribe and check back in as much as you can. There's a bunch of exciting things to come. Till then, see you soon.